We are back with Beyond the Pot, and this is episode four of our Thanksgiving series. And we are going to make something super duper simple. It's so simple. It's one of my twins, boy twin, James, favorite thing at Thanksgiving. And he'll eat the whole pan if you let him. I made it one time and he was like, mom, you have to make this every time. And so we're going to make corn pudding. Some people call it corn casserole. I call it corn pudding. Put it all together, corn pudding casserole, whatever you want to call it. But this is what we're making today. So we're making corn pudding today, or corn pudding casserole, or corn casserole, whatever you wanna call it. It is pretty much a doctored up cornbread. It's so good. Um, it's like give you your sweetness without having your candy yams type deal with a bread. It's, it's just good, trust me. And so um, it's literally a dump and go recipe. It's like dump everything in a pot, in the bowl, mix it up, put it in the oven. So we need sugar, Corn, you can use canned corn. I like a little bit more freshness, so I use frozen corn. Um, love this, can, corn in the can. The cream style corn, very, very good. Um, I only put it in here, I don't eat this by itself. Um, Jiffy cornbread mix, or if you wanna use cornmeal, you can to do your own cornbread, or you can use um, a different kind of cornbread. I like Jiffy, it works. Two eggs. You need some sour cream, some milk, and some butter. This is a whole stick of butter, melted butter. And spray to spray your pan. So we're literally going to jump all of this in, mix it up, and put it in a bowl. So I'm gonna go in with my Jiffy mix. And if you need to double this, by all means, you can double it. Just double all the ingredients with it. Um, we're gonna go in with our milk. We're gonna go in with some sugar. A little bit more for good measure. Uh, we are gonna do some sour cream. It's about a cup of sour cream. I like sour cream. Some people don't like white condiments. I'm okay with white condiments. I like mayo, I like sour cream, I like it all. My friend knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so a cup of sour cream. Mix that all up in there. And I would love to know what y'all are making for Thanksgiving. Y'all gotta tell me what y'all making. So that's that. Put that butter up in there, stick of butter, whole stick. Whole stick of butter. Make sure it's melted. Two eggs. I told y'all literally it's a dump and go. Throw that in there. Two eggs. And I'm actually gonna mix this up a little bit. Mix it up, mix it up. So, so good. I hope y'all caught the rest of these Thanksgiving videos. We had candy sweet potatoes and we had, what else did we have? Ah, mac and cheese. Um, and now we're doing corn pudding and so, Oh, and we have mashed potatoes. So make sure y'all check out those recipes and tell me if you tried them or not. They're pretty good. Um, I live by those things. And so now we're gonna put our canned corn and it's cream style corn. And then I'm gonna put my fresh corn, my frozen corn, frozen corn. You could also use fresh corn, that would be good too. It gives a little bite. And you mix all that together literally that's it it looks a little soupy but it will set up those eggs will help it set up sour cream makes it rich and that's it we're gonna spray our pan our casserole dish you can use the 9 by 13 pan i got this little pyrex dish corning where i mean make sure you spray it real good and we're gonna go in our baking dish. 
So I have everything in my pan. I have my oven set to 350 degrees and we're gonna go in the oven for about 45 minutes. I know it takes a little time, but you can also make this a day before for Thanksgiving, the day before and just heat it back up in the oven. It's just like cornbread y'all. And so um, it just has some corn in it. And it's really, really good. So we're gonna go in the oven for 350 degrees for 45 minutes and then we'll check it. So while that's working, I'm just gonna talk to y'all for a minute and give y'all a little piece of my heart. Um, it is that time of year where Thanksgiving has come and we are in a pandemic and it is insane. I'm actually supposed to be in New Jersey right now with my grandparents and I couldn't go. And it hurts that I couldn't go because we are dealing with something called coronavirus, COVID-19. Um, but in all things, I am thankful and grateful. Um, this is that time of year where we reflect on those things. Granted, we need to be thankful and grateful all year for life, health, strength, um, ups, downs, trials, tribulations. Um, but in saying that, I am grateful and thankful for everything that the Lord has given taken away, taken us through, um, my love for food, my family, my children, my mama, shout out to Gigi, um, friends, church, most importantly, my relationship with Jesus Christ. And so, um, make a list. Sometimes you got to make a gratitude list or a thankful list and say, what am I thankful for? What has the Lord done for me? And so I just encourage y'all to do that. Call your grandmas and your aunties and your uncles and your cousins, even though you can't be with them this year, and tell them that you love them and you're thankful and you're grateful for them. Y'all, we can't choose our family, but we have them anyway, so we might as well love on them while we got them. So I love y'all and happy Thanksgiving. So our timer just went off and I actually put more time on it. So it went about 55 minutes and not 45. And so I'm gonna take this out. Oh my goodness. And it is nice and golden brown. It has set on top and you're just gonna let it sit so it can set up some more. And then that's your next side dish for Thanksgiving if you like. I just wanna give a Happy Thanksgiving to all of my subscribers and those that even tune in and you haven't subscribed, but I need you to subscribe um, and take this time to be thankful and grateful. Again, happy Thanksgiving and enjoy your family.